Hello everyone, Will Witherington here, uh, Pastor of Ministries and Expansion at Tate's Creek Presbyterian Church with my good buddy Nate Jones. And I've got some guys here from University of Kentucky, Lee and Miller Ramsey, and then Trey Gross. I'll introduce those guys in just a second. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be celebrating Easter uh, and have the whole Holy Week with Monday, Thursday and Good Friday services. You can check your email for that schedule. But on Monday, Thursday, what we've done over the last several years is take up a special missions offering. And the reason we do that, we do one on Monday, Thursday, we do one on Christmas Eve, because the Easter celebration and the birth of Christ celebration are great opportunities to talk about reaching the world for Christ, reaching the nations. Uh, as one of our great hymns says, uh, that Christ uh, will receive the prize for which he died, which is the inheritance of nations. So one of, the, one of the great motivations of the gospel of Jesus Christ is that it is for all peoples. So we take these opportunities to raise money for our missions efforts. Um, typically what we've done over the years is we've profiled our international partnerships in, in Africa or Scotland or Belarus or Thailand or Mexico. But what we thought we'd do uh, this year is we would profile our campus ministries. We have a ton, and I'll have Nate share about that in a second. Today we've got some guys that are involved with campus outreach, and we've got some uh, guys and girls that are involved with RUF that we're going to interview and let you hear their stories. Uh, so as you hear this, uh, be thinking about what you might want to give this year for our Monday Thursday service. So Nate, tell us a little bit about what we do as a holistic uh, approach to our campus ministry, what we give, and that kind of thing. Well, not only do we get to interact uh, with students and staff of uh, several uh, campus ministries here locally and some out of state, um, we get to support them financially. And we have 27 campus ministers that we support. And I think that is a total of $58,000 uh, mm. annually that we support our campus ministers. That's pretty good. One of those campus ministers that we support is Trey and Chelsea Gross. So Trey, tell us a little about yourself, uh, get to know the folks a little bit, and then, uh, and then we'll introduce the other guys. Awesome. Yeah, like you said, my name is Trey Gross, and thank you all. You all have been a big supporter of mine for a while now. I grew up in Richmond, uh, right down the road, and I went to Georgetown College. And it was at Georgetown College when I met a uh, young adult who looked old, uh, and he invited me to a Bible study, and though I had always been in church my whole life, something clicked about the gospel of Jesus Christ that never had before. So in, in college, um, God changed my life because people were on the campus, and the same with my wife, Chelsea. And so now, since college, we have graduated. We've been coming here to TCPC and or Hope for a long time, almost eight years, um, and we're just so thankful. Um, and like you said, I, I work for Campus Outreach. I'm the campus director at UK. I've worked there for about four years or so. And um, these are some guys that I've gotten to know over the last few years. Cool, awesome, Trey. One of the, one of the so as, as I mentioned, these are brothers, uh, and there's an interesting connection to Nate, which we'll get to at the end, to their father. But we'll start we'll start with Miller. Miller, uh, tell us a little about how you came to know the Lord and kind of what you're, what's going on at UK for you and your faith and that kind of thing. Uh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, so I'm from Bowling Green, Kentucky originally. Um, I grew up in the church all my life. I kind of uh, had heard the gospel a lot, but it wasn't really in, until this last summer when I was, I was driving back home to Bowling Green to see my family with this guy right here. He shared the gospel to me, and I finally made the choice. And I still have a long way to go, but I can feel Jesus working in my life every day, especially with the help of my mentor, Nate. <laughs> awesome. So you're spending time with Nate and and growing in your faith, and he's helping you learn the ropes a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, Lee, what about you? How did you come to the Lord? And, and tell us a little bit about your relationship with Trey as well. Yeah, so as you said, I'm Lee. Um, my story is similar to Miller's. I grew up in the church going with him, going with my family. I heard the gospel, had a basic understanding of that Jesus died on the cross, resurrected, and my sins were forgiven. And so I got off scot-free, so I had like a safety net when I died. But then when I got to college, I started to really experience real hardship in my life. And one day I was just reading in my bed and I just got down and I was like, God, live my life with me. And like, just, <laughs> if I'm not gonna, if I'm not gonna have you, then I don't wanna live anymore. It's like J Jacob wrestling with God, like, and God took out one of his like hip bones. And Jacob was basically like, I'll die before I let you go. Like, 
I just want to be with you. There's no way I'm going to keep on living without you. And then literally two weeks after that, I met Trey in the cafeteria. I just sat down in front of him, him and Wayne Logan, and he invited me to Malibu Jackson. I started going to Bible study with him, and he's been discipling me and showing me like what it looks like to walk with the Lord for the past two, two and a half years almost. Awesome. Uh, powerful, powerful example there of what our campus ministers do with students. But there's also a connection that Nate has had with these guys. Father Nate, connect the full circle of how you know their father. Okay. Well, as you know, uh, I was a campus minister at one time at UK for 15 years. And uh, almost 30 years ago, I met a young man <laughs> named Billy Ramsey, their father. And uh, he was involved, a student involved in our, our ministry there at UK. And we would meet uh, once a week uh, at a coffee shop on campus, and we'd talk about the gospel, the basics of the faith of the gospel. And uh, just a few weeks ago, Miller and I hooked up and connected at a coffee shop, and we, we meet weekly now and study the basics <laughs> of the faith of the Christian, uh, basics of our, our faith in Christ. So uh, 30 years ago, his father, and now Miller, <laughs> and looking forward to hanging out uh, with the Ramsey family even more. It's awesome. Well, that is a really powerful and clear example. I hope you see the impact there of Campus Ministries. Nate, almost 30 years ago, and then just a, a few months ago, uh, God doing the same work in Miller. And just a plug there for our covenant theology. Uh, this, is a, this is a great example of a covenant family. Uh, Billy and his wife been praying for their sons and, and now seeing that fruit. Uh, now, this is uh, one example of our campus ministries. In just a second, I'm going to welcome up Sam Taff and, uh, and Kari, and they're going to share a similar story of how, what God's doing through the university, uh, Reform University Fellowship. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. Now we're, uh, we're here with Sam Taff and Kari Sletton. Thank you for coming. Um, and we're going to do similar. This, uh, Sam is our campus minister at, at, with RUF, Uformer University Fellowship. Kari's one of the students there at the University of Kentucky. And we just want to hear from them what God's doing at the University of Kentucky. So, for, Sam, we'll start with you. Just tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been on staff with RUF, and those kind of things. Yeah. Um, so this is my eighth year as a campus minister with RUF. Uh, we spent four years at the university, uh, at Middle Tennessee State University in Murfreesboro, uh, before moving up here uh, four years ago this summer. Uh, and so I was converted through RUF when I was in college and uh, served as an intern, but yeah, I've been, been on staff as a campus minister for eight years now. Then you married a very famous TCPC uh, member child. That's right. My wife, Anne, <laughs> was baptized here and we were married here. Uh, and yes, it's been really it's been sweet to be back in Lexington in a lot of ways. Awesome. Great. Sam doing a great job. And he has with him his friend Kari. Kari, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and uh, tell us a little bit about how you came into the Lord. Okay. So my name is Kari Sletton. Um, I'm originally from Centennial, Colorado, and I came to UK to study equine science and management. Right. And I will be graduating in May um, with a Bachelor's of Science in equine science. Wow. Uh, and I'm emphasizing in business, and then I'm minoring in agriculture economics. So that's kind of what brought me here. Right. Um, but Truthfully, I stayed because of RUF and the community I found. Um, I, my first semester was really lonely, um, and my cousin was like, hey, go to RUF. And I was like, okay, so I did. And I came to know the Lord my junior year of high school, okay. um, but I never really started pursuing the Lord until hmm. I came to college and got involved in RUF. So RUF's really been a blessing in helping me come to know the Lord more. Yeah, so um, in what ways has RUF helped you walk in your faith and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, so RUF has really encouraged me to not just learn more how to read the Bible for all it's worth and take everything um, that's in the Word as truth and really lean into it and find hope in it, but also just to see the Lord at work um, in the world around me through even the hardest of times, just finding um, the grace of God and the love of God everywhere all the time. And that's been really cool, um, just through all the different retreats and things and learning where he is in all these different situations. So. Yeah, incredible. Well, there's, there's another good example of what our campus minister is doing, their good work at, at, with RUF and uh, on the University of Kentucky. And we've got campus ministries at, all over the Bluegrass area that are, that are impacting students. As, as Nate mentioned, we support 27 campus ministers at about $58,000 a year. And we want to use this offering on Monday, Thursday to help impact uh, folks like Sam and their relationships with, with students like Kari. So Nate, how much money do we need to trust God for the big question we always ask uh, for this Monday Thursday offering, how much do we need? 
we would love for $15,000 to, to come in to this offering. Okay, great. So uh, at, at Christmas Eve, we gave a figure, I think it was like sixteen or 17000 We yeah. said we needed, we went above that, 30000 came in, praise God. We needed fifteen. If we can get another 30, it'd be amazing because we get to really bless these, these campus ministers and our international works as well. So please take a few minutes uh, today and uh, over the next couple weeks and pray. And uh, on Monday, Thursday, we will have that offering. We'll have a link for you. Uh, I think the link will probably appear on this video, so you can even do it now. And you can just click on that link and you can click missions on that drop-down window and give your, your uh, offering that day. Thanks so much.